Could team of the season Tio Hernandez be the best left back in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Let's find out today in this video. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. He's already got a bunch of special items this year, a couple of informs, he's obviously got a headliners card as well, and that headliners, um, Tio Hernandez, is fantastic. So I won't lie, I do have very high expectations for this team of the season card. Free star, free star, left footed on the left edge and no traits to discuss, but does have some very, very nice in game stats and instantly I'm looking at this and thinking he could probably play a midfield and he could probably be a ridiculous CDM and he could also probably be a ridiculous centre back too but um we're not gonna focus on that today we're gonna keep him at left back in at this video. So um what is there to like about this card? Well instantly there's something to love in the fact he's got 99 pace and I don't get why EA haven't just given him 99 acceleration as well. Like at this point what's the point in just leaving it at 98? Whatever. Um, so 99 pace, very nice shooting for a fullback as well. Um, I don't know if we'll get the opportunity to test that out, but it's there if we need it. Um, passing looks very, very good for a defender. Good shot passing to pass out the back. And 99 crossing to uh, whip a ball into the box if we get him, him into an attacking position. So that is awesome. Dribbling, once again, another huge positive to his card. Um, really good ball control, 95 in-game dribbling and 91 agility. That is awesome. Balance isn't the best at 80, but everything else in that column is terrific. Terrific. Um, in regards to defending, defensive awareness isn't anything too crazy, but um, he's obviously a bit of an attacking um, fullback, so uh, we probably will look to a player chem style to help out some of these defensive stats. But uh, they're not terrible, especially in the tackling department. Interception to 84 is a bit meh, but um, still the rest is very, very nice in that column. And the physicals, they're stupid, like stupidly good. 91 strength and 89 aggression on a fullback is ridiculously good. And uh, that will be very, very useful in game. So for once, when discussing chem styles on defenders, I'm not actually even thinking about Anker or Shadow, although they do make him a 95 and a 96 rated left back, um, which is pretty crazy. But honestly, like this guy doesn't need the pace boost, which is pretty crazy. So the obvious chem style for him is Sentinel, and that makes him a 97 rated left back and centre back, which is just stupid, really, really good. Um, so that's, you know, really good to see. And with the Sentinel, like most of his defensive stats um, get maxed out. And if not, they come pretty freaking close to being. And obviously that big plus 10 in defensive awareness is going to be big with his chem style. Um, and his physicals get boosted a really good amount as well. It's a shame the stamina doesn't come with it. But nonetheless, like that card just looks crazy. Um, just want to see if we can actually get him um, any higher rated. But look at his like ratings in midfield. Like, they're pretty crazy too, but um, as I say, for a left back, or if you want to use them at centre back, whatever, um, Sentinel is definitely the chem style for him. Pretty obvious, I feel like everyone um, probably knew that coming into this video. Although, I guess if you are considering playing him um, in midfield, um, Backburn could be considered as well. But let's be honest, stick with Sentinel, it's the right one. In the next outing for Hernandez, he's actually going to be up against a headliner's Mara. Oh, someone get rid of that ball. Did not like that at all as Tia breaks away nicely. Opportunity to put the ball in behind, which he does so really, really well to Pereira. Well, I'll tell you what's interesting about that first 45. My opponent has attacked down that left edge every single time, like his left. So uh, Tia has not had much to do. So um, not too many clips for Hernandez in that first 45. My opponent just doesn't want to be near him, apparently. Nice from Tia, and what a ball that ends up being for Pereira. What a fantastic ball. We will go early with that. We will score off that. And that's all come from that wonderful pass from uh, Theo Hernandez. Love to see it. Great goal by Latura as well. Good positioning, getting in behind and uh, finishing very nicely. And also Pereira, let's give him some credit because uh, excellent cross. Chance to distribute Theo Hernandez. How about that? Exactly where I wanted that ball to go. It's a superb ball. And Latura Martinez is going to profit off it again. What a goal that is. Brilliant team effort. Oh, what a tackle from Lucas. And that allows Tio Hernandez to maybe make some space for himself. And he puts the ball nicely through to Pereira, who's in more space. Are we going to score off a cross again? Are we going to score off a cross again? Yes, we are. Latura. What a finish. 
Good showing from Theo Hernandez in that game. Definitely did show his passing range, which is fantastic. Going forward, he felt brilliant, very, very quick, and their passing felt very, very nice. Um, didn't really get tested too much defensively. I'm not kidding when I say every single attack was going down the other edge um, in this game. So uh, hopefully uh, gets tested a little bit more in uh, other matches. So in Theo Hernandez's debut, he's actually up against... Vasquez, who you all know I absolutely love, so uh, this will be a great test. Tia Hernandez, a nice through ball in behind of his first touch for Pereira. Well, that was weird. The game just ended at nil-nil, so um, clean sheet for Tia, I guess. I didn't really get a chance to record the uh, intro screen for this game, so uh, this is what we are up against with Hernandez. Um, decent team, nothing too crazy, but obviously um, does have a couple of blue items in there. Abri coming down this left edge looking to take on Tia, which is a bad idea because he's pretty damn quick and uh, as you saw, used his pace, strength and aggression to just take that ball, to just nab that ball from Nabry. A switch player, left footed ball up to the top of the field, Perisic wins that header nicely, sadly though Zielinski just can't get there, that would have been a terrific move had it you know, gone our way. Nice block there from the French fullback and now maybe we can Go on a break. Now we can definitely go on a break because what a ball that is from Zielinski. Oh, another block from the Frenchman there. Bit of an indirect block that too. I think it ricocheted off two players. Martini is going to try and get down the wing. Tia Hernandez keeps up with him. Going to force him back. Eventually we'll get the ball. And now we'll look to break and he's so fast. And he's got the strength to hold off um, Amiri as well. Nice bit of play, balls into the box, Ah, oh, I mean, we almost created a chance off that. Well, half time's come around, and as you can see, the game's been very, very even. Clean sheet's still intact, which is good for Hernandez, and uh, two goals from Latura is good for Martinez. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, oh, get put down. Just absolutely bodied there. Poor Coutinho, just got annihilated. Hernandez comes forward. Let's take off a shot with him. Not a terrible effort, to be fair. Just thought, you know what, bit of open space. We've got a comfortable lead. Let's have a crack. And um, it wasn't horrendous, but uh, didn't really test the keeper. It was straight down his throat. But uh, as you can see there, uh, Hernandez very quickly back into position, which is uh, nice to showcase that as well, I guess. Three balls have been very, very nice from the Frenchman, it has to be said. Coutinho, where are you going? You might be able to dribble past centre backs, but you're not coming past Hernandez. See ya. Oh, well done. We'll catch up to him. We'll beat him to the box. I wasn't even considering switching player there. Like, I just knew he had the pace to catch him, even when he's exhausted. Another really nice through ball there from the Frenchman. Hernandez dinks that one into the box and there is Latura to get himself another. He has got on the end of so many crosses tonight. Tia. Guess we'll never know where that pass went. But um, there's full time. Get a 5-1 victory. Um, very good performance by Hernandez. Um, once again, not just in attack but also defensively just really really effective on that left edge so now we move over to the summary page it's time to discuss performances of this team the season Theo Hernandez item and straight up it's excellent it is a brilliant fullback option but I'm gonna say this in terms of just defending I do think there are better fullbacks available however as an all-rounder I think this is the best fullback option you've got on the left edge I really really do um, in regards to like defensive fullbacks, I feel like Tagliafico does edge him and uh, I also feel like Footbeth de Mendy does as well in regards to defending. However, in regards to like the whole package of not just defending but going forward as well, this, this Hernandez is much better for me. So um, yeah, really pleased with the card. So if you wanted a quick review, there you go. That's my opinion on him. But if you want a couple more details, then I do obviously stick around. So um, obviously positives, we've got to begin with the pace. He's rapid. Um, I think I showed that quite well in game, not just when going forward, but also when tracking back as well. Just so, so quick. If you make an error with him, he's fast enough that you're going to be able to have a second go which is fantastic and um, defensively i thought he was actually really really solid made plenty of tackles for me which was great and uh, also made a decent amount of intercepts too which is very very pleasing and physically 
really pleased with the card. I love the strength, I love the aggression, I love his ability just to knock someone off the ball. He can dominate against some players and um, that run at him as well, which is just awesome. You don't always get that with a fullback. Most of them are very quick and have decent defending, but not all of them have good physicals. This guy has the lot, which is great. When talking about the physicals though, I will mention the fact that his stamina isn't the best. Now it's not terrible if you're going to use him defensively, but if you're going to use him in an attacking sense, he might tire a bit because 91 stamina, although it's pretty good if you're running down the wings of him a lot, obviously that stamina can be drained. So something to note right there. But for the most part, I didn't have any issues. But if you go running with like, you know, a free at the back slash five at the back variant, that might be something to keep an eye on. Um, but defending and physical, as I say, very, very pleased with both departments. Dribbling also excellent for me. I thought his dribbling was class for a defender, really good control, really Really easy to get him up and down the wing with the ball and composed in possession as well which isn't a common thing for defenders in this game so uh, another area of his game where I'm really pleased with and to be honest the most surprising part about this card for me personally was the passing on this card now we knew his short passing was going to be good with him having 97 short passing but I wasn't expecting much from his through balls and stuff like that with his long passing being 76 but for me his through balls were great, and you'll have seen that in the footage. His distribution was really, really nice for me. Only off the left foot, might I add, he is very one-footed, but that's a common thing with fullbacks. But the passing, I thought was terrific, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, in regards to his positioning, he is a fullback who does like to get forward, so if you don't want that, do put stay back while attacking on him. But um, other than that, let him run for you, let him run wild, and he'll do a great job for you up and down at that touchline. So um, yeah, terrific fullback item, really, really happy with it. And uh, I'm really, really hoping I get this guy in my red picks on Thursday because, uh, as I say, he's a brilliant fullback and he fits into teams very easily and he'll fit very nicely into my side as well. So, uh, yeah, big, big ratings for this for Hernandez. Yeah, he's very expensive, but um, I, I can see why. So, guys, those are my thoughts on the 92 rated Hernandez. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you are new. I will catch you 